hi guys you're welcome back to my channel this is peggy skincare if you're here for the first time or if you're passing by please do not forget to hit the red subscription button below turn on your notification bell that way wherever i post a new video you get every update so i want to retouch my um seven days whitening herbal black soap okay if you scroll down my channel one of the first three videos i made when i started up this channel was my half cars um, seven days half cars whitening black soap okay so this is 2020 as we move ahead we tend to recover new formulas that is very very effective and active so without wasting your time as you can see i had to take my time to um, put in the powders at once so i don't have to waste your time So without wasting your time, sorry my baby is crying, pardon me, I hope you can still hear me. Without wasting your time, I'm going to introduce to you guys the botanical powders I have in here. And I have one synthetic powder, okay? Here I have my rice powder, I have my cambwood powder, I have my mulberry extract powder, I have my salicylic acid powder. You guys know it's for acne and pimples. Mulberry is a lightening agent, a very good whitening agent. Camwood is for skin irritations, issues, and the rest. Rice powder is also a, a, a lightening agent and is filled with um, lactic acid. It's very good. It's whitening and it's very, very rich for your herbal black soap. I have my Kojic Diplomated, okay? Um, my Kojic Diplomated. I have my Kojic Diplomated. Kojic Dip, uh, for short, is a very whitening additive that... You know, it's going to help whiten your um, black soap. It's a very, very stable uh, whitening powder that's going to help, you know, stabilize your, your formulas, okay? I have my kojic acid. Please note, there is kojic acid diplomated and there's kojic acid. The reason why I add uh, my kojic acid diplomated is because the acid is very stable. My kojic acid here is not a stable powder, okay? It tends to oxidize after a certain period of time i have it here because it's my black soap you know when oxidization takes place you know it's going to get dark but since it's black soap is fine so for the main time you're still going to enjoy the whitening effect it's going to give to you but with time it's going to oxidize so the reason why it's very very good for you to add the rest of your whitening additive is when your kojic acid powder oxidize or any of the whitening additive fails you still have your kojic diplomated that is going to help retain the potency in your formula okay i have my avocado powder it's very good powder on the skin you can make research on each of these powders that i'm listing out here i have my orange peel powder it's filled with it's part of my citrus okay it's filled with vitamin c and the rest so how to prevent this you have to put this in a tight container of course it's very very good on the skin um the powder the extract uh, peel is going to help exfoliate your skin nicely right i have my sandalwood powder sandalwood powder is good on the skin please make research on each of these powders i have my licorice or licorice licorice okay licorice is alternatively is good um better than hydroquinine why i said better than hydroquinine at least it's safer on the skin for those with sensitive skin and it's going to help lighten your skin very good okay without issues it's good for people that have sensitive skin a mild version of hydroquinine is a lightening agent agent okay it is naturally extracted all right i have my lemon peel powder okay it's still my citrus um group filled with vitamin c and the extract is going to help the peel is going to help exfoliate your skin nicely i have my snow white powder with nice whitening powder okay i have my turmeric powder turmeric powder is great on the skin it's filled with antioxidants is great on the skin is natural skin lightener i have my um carrot powder carrot powder as you all know is a whitening powder i have my mustard seed powder okay please make research please sorry for taking your time i have to take this time to explain each of these powders to you just the same way i'm going to explain the rest of my formula so in here i have my ghana ozone soap color ozone soap i have the yellow i have the blue then i have my kojic acid soap it's my coach sorry my kojic sand soap as you can see then i have my um green balls three days green balls for anti-pimple so here I have my um, cottage black soap. I use, this is my cottage black soap, cottage fresh. I use two of it. 
it is a very nice black soap why i'm using my cottage soap i don't want to use my ghana soap this is a very very whitening formula seven days whitening formula tested and trusted i'm not wasting your time on this okay so the next thing i'll i'll put in this formula is my mixture of fruits i have here my pineapple fruits last week i posted a video um, how to make a whitening body butter please check the description box you want to see the link so as you guys saw i made um this uh, formula and i have leftover of my of my juice so i said i will be using it in my herbal soap so i have my pineapple um pineapple fruit here i have my orange i have my carrots and i have my papaya okay so this is a leftover of the fruit i'll be adding it in my formula it is rich very nice on the skin please make research on all these fruits you're going to love the effectiveness this is a nice combination it's going to help exfoliate your skin is rich with aha okay that will help you know detox your skin nice and smooth so i have my pomegranate um plants okay i'll be using in my formula neem oil neem i have my vegetable glyne serene uh, you know to moisturize the skin smoothly i have my grapeseed oil it smells so good this is my diy grapeseed oil it smells so nice i have my gamma plus preservative that i'll be using five percent lactic acid so i'll be using in this formula i have my whitening oil white now you guys are familiar with this oil is a very good whitening oil i have my egg yolk um serum okay this is a whitenizer serum that i'll be using in this production i have my natural secret um serum that i'll be using in this formula so quickly without wasting your time i'll be mixing my formula so i have to take my time to explain this to you all so you're going to understand um where i'm coming from right so usually this all um this powder i have the water base so this powder usually uh, we have a uh, water soluble and oil soluble uh, since i'll be making use of everything i'm blending it and this is washable okay so i'll mix everything together so i'm mixing my kojik sand soap my three uh, two colors of ghana ozone soap the pink and the blue and my green balls into this okay this is going to be a whitening formula please note the color zone soap is a, a lightening please note the color zone soap is a lightening um soap ghana soap so i'll be pointing my juice extract in this Okay, the next thing I'll put in here, I'll put two tablespoons of my neem oil as one and two. So I'll put two tablespoons of my vegetable glycerin. One. Wait, I love the fragrance. This is my DIY grapeseed oil. It smells so good. So I have my sweet almond oil in here. So I'll measure two tablespoons of the sweet almond oil. Oh my God, the grapes smell so good. Please try your best and get your 100% uh, extracted grape seed. That smells so good because I made it myself. So I'll be adding 5% of my Jama Plus preservative. Like I told you guys, I added this preservative because of my um extract my fruit extract so it's not going to get spoiled okay so quickly i'll add my white noun serum i'll add three tablespoons of my white noun serum one two and three I'll add three tablespoons of my natural secret oil. This is a whitening oil. I'll add one, two, three. So I'm going to add my um, egg yolk serum. I'm going to add two tablespoons of it. And two. 
So I'm going to mix this properly. I'm going to add my pomegranate. So I'm going to take this, about three of these. I took about three of my pomegranate. So I'll mix this properly. All right, I just finished mixing this. Okay, I had to still blend it. Okay, so I'm going to pour it into my desired container and let it sit for about um, um, five days. Okay. And then I'm going to give this soap to my um, subscribers out there. Just um, send us a message on WhatsApp. Say hello to us. Patronize from us. You're going to get this lovely soap, okay? So let me turn it into my desired container. Okay, let me test out this soap. This is going to lather so well, as you can see, right? Lather so good, so well. So far, for this week, I've been making a lot of productions using my hands, okay? So, this is it. So, this soap is going to go out free for those my wonderful subscribers that has been purchasing for more so, yes. So, guys, I just finished um, filling it into my desired container, okay? So, this is going out for... Those my wonderful subscriber that has been buying for me. This is a very, very whitening seven days herbal body wash. Okay, S scroll down to the first three videos I did when I started my YouTube channel. I made a seven days whitening body wash. Okay, so this is a 2020 body wash, it's very, very effective. Okay, I want you all to just follow me on my Instagram page. Peggy underscore skincare. Please follow us, okay? My training is on. If you want to learn more, please sign up for my training. It's going to start on Monday. Yes, on Monday. Please sign up, okay? Thank you guys for watching. See you some other time. Bye. Oh, wow. I love the glow on my hand. I love you. Mwah, mwah.